All right, Brent Porcio, topvelocity.net. Going to do a pitching analysis here of Joseph. Going to pair him up with minor league pitcher Bob Wheatley. Okay, let's take. And we got Bob Wheatley here at 90 miles an hour. Um, I don't know your speed here, Joseph. So let's take you at leg lift. Picked Bob here because um, looks like similar build, um, and he's doing some things that um, you're struggling with, and that things that we worked really hard with him to get him. To 90, he came in about 83, 84, and then worked up to 90, 91. Okay, so notice coming in right here in your leg lift. You know, typically high velocity pitchers they have good momentum going forward pretty early in their delivery. You can see that you're a little bit more over your drive leg. So focus on initially, you know, taking your hips out and early coming into your leg lift. But for you right now. Let's not do that till later. Your big emphasis needs to be coming up right now. So as we go into your load, you can see your, you and Bob kind of do the same thing. As you load, load your leg, you open your front foot. Okay, we, if you're going to open your front foot, here's the kicker. You have to hold your knee out. We call that torsion. You have to keep your knee turning outward. You've got your knee turning inward. So that's a collapsing leg. Okay. If not, we try to keep the legs closed so we can keep this knee outward. Um, that's a concept uh, in 3x pitching called three or called torsion. Okay, we have to hold that to the last minute. So you can see when you go to initiate your drive, which is about right here, you already have a collapsed leg. <coughs> your your knee is pushing in really hard. You can see when Bob goes to initiate his drive, he still has the knee out in torsion. <coughs> On top of that. He's late arm cocking. Because Bob has doesn't have a lot of trunk rotation, if he was early arm cocking like you, then his upper body would want to start too early. So he's trying to leverage or pull his shoulder as far back behind this hip as possible. So to do that, he's going to bring the arm up late to prevent that from wanting to go early. So when you go into your front foot strike or you drive off the mountain and hit front foot strike, because your back leg collapsed, in your delivery, and it ultimately collapsed early, it started rotation early in your delivery, and you can see you landed with an, uh, an over-rotated front foot. It's pointing off to the on-deck hitter. You can see when Bob drives off the mound, his foot kind of gets hidden here, but it's still um, slightly close to the hitter. Um, also, too, when he hits his leg drive, you can see as the foot kicks through, he can see that internal rotation starts to happen in that knee very late with Bob. But because he was a late arm cocker, he was still able to get the hips to open. So when he stabilized right here, his hips were open and his shoulders were still closed. Good hit to shoulder separation. You can see when you stabilize, your front foot lands, and then you stabilize right there, your shoulder is well into shoulder rotation. So you have early hips going, which threw you too far open in your front leg, and it caused your shoulders to go early. So you really need to go back to what we really worked hard with Bob and it was significant in being a you know uh, seven to eight mile an hour increase is holding this leg in torsion cocking that arm as late as possible and peaking your forces as late as possible uh, to to leverage as much hip to shoulder, shoulder separation as you can the more you can do what Bob is doing right here at front foot strike um, the, the more ball speed you're going to have so your shoulders would still be closed just like Bob's and back at this point, and it really comes down to the timing uh, and the ability to hold everything until just before front foot strike and then release it. Back leg drive, triple extension, internal rotation. So you can see when his, um, he goes into shoulder rotation, look how much more forward tilt he gets than you, okay? Okay, 56 to 72, and uh, you know, his elbows fully abducted and back. Yours is pushing out in front of your face already. That's up. His is a more loaded arm, and then he has good front leg stabilization. Your, your, your mound is moving on you. That's, you know, you don't want to have a surface that moves or a foot footing that moves like that. That kills your velocity. So you really need to focus on this concept of torsion, which we typically address that late as well. I think you need to first go do everything in reverse. Learn hip to shoulder separation, which is the big approach to the 3x pitch and velocity program, level one program. And then get into this approach of torsion in the back leg. And then work coming out of leg lift, starting your momentum a little bit earlier. So work all this in reverse 
and it'll be easier for you to implement uh, all this information.